I just bought a used Sony ZV-E10 Mark II, and to be honest, it is functionally useless right now. It's crippled. It refuses to let me use the Pro features I actually paid for. And to fix it, I had to order a V90 SD card. Look at that. But I didn't wait for the mail truck. I actually have surveillance footage of a robot dropping this from the sky. But before we check the tapes, we've got a bigger problem. Amazon is notorious for fake SD cards. If this thing is fake, my camera stays bricked. So before it touches my Sony, it goes into my MacBook. So I'm gonna open this up. And there's the card. Now this looks real. It probably is real, but how do we check it? So that's why I'm gonna put it into the MacBook here first so that we can run some tests on it. It looks legit, but if you read some of the reviews, some people are seeing really poor performance on these cards, which is a clear indicator that it's counterfeit. So we'll take this card right out here, plug it straight into the MacBook. Click allow. The settings, select target drive, and then I select the untitled SD card. Do open, and then we'll click on start. I can't see what it's doing yet, but we need to see about 250 megabytes on the right speed. So that way we can trust who we bought it from on Amazon, but also verify it. Looks legit, 243.5 megabytes per second. It's close to 250. Okay, it's legit. We're safe. And speaking of the delivery, check this out. Amazon Prime Air is wild. Look at this thing just hovering over my driveway. The future is weird. As you can see, it looks like it passes most everything here. Now for the moment of truth, and we'll put it directly inside the camera. Take the old memory card out. This guy is a Team Group Extreme 128 gig V60. Now we got the V90, put this in. So now it's just saying a corresponding environment is required for playback of movies recorded in XAVC HS422 10-bit. So it will let me set that up. That is now doing 200 megabits per second. And here I am at 4K 60 frames per second on my Sony. And here I am at 4K 60 frames per second on my Sony. Now the lesson that I learned today is don't buy this camera unless if you already have a V90 card.